Hello everybody and welcome back. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so what we're going to make today is a tool skirt with satin trim. And I already have my fabric pre-cut and I'll show you what I mean. As you can see, I already have my cut for my daughter's waist size which is 20 and it is 16 yards of this fabric here and what I mean by pre-folded is it's already folded here so what we're going to do is stitch all the way around about a uh, one inch um, from the top you want to leave it open right here because that's where you're going to spool your elastic through. I'll show you a picture right here of what the skirt looks like already finished. So that's what we're going to make today. Here we go. We're going to start this off by, like I said, sewing about an inch down, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, whatever you may like. You can go ahead and use the measurements here on your sewing machine to give you um, what you need but you can mark it or whatever works for you through here like so so you're just going to do this as you can see it's already To prevent the frayed edges, go ahead, I hate this lighter, just go ahead and heat seal the ends just like you would if you're making um, a hair bow or something like that. Just heat seal your ends with the lighter or candle, whatever works best for you. Try not to burn it since you are putting this on the skirt, you don't want the burn marks I'm going to go ahead now and pull this apart as you can see and I'm not pinning I'm not pinning anything my satin is a double face so it doesn't matter which side that I sew on so what I'm going to do is take my fabric and place the satin right on the edge and I'm just going to let that go through the machine just like I did when I was sewing the waistband. my elastic here um, I don't need well yeah I do need this on machine still and our safety pin now I cut my elastic and this is a non-roll um, elastic waist I mean piece of elastic it's white yes it's white you if you find a uh, color coordinating non-roll elastic I would suggest you use that I'm using this this is just fine I'm going to take my safety pin here and put it on the end of my elastic and I'm going to start threading this through it doesn't really matter which end you start at 
um, if you start on the inside you may have to flip the skirt over when you're done to sew the two pieces together at that time so um, yeah I'm just gonna you're gonna take your safety pin and you're gonna weed through this little opening that you have you're gonna weed through your elastic now what you want to do and what you're going to find is that this is going to try to go in there. One thing you can do is put another safety pin on the end of this just in case that happens or do your best to hold on to it. Normally I just hold on to mine. I'm pretty good at holding on to it. So I kind of just go like this. I'm holding this in and I kind of just feed it through. Just feed that safety pin through all the way through the 16 yards or however many yards of fabric you need to make um, the skirt. You're just going to keep feeding that through. Okay guys, so now we are finished weeding this through. So you can take your safety pin off now. I am going to take this and sew it together. Sorry, I have a loose thread from another part that came on my skirt. So this is the back part. Of my skirt here you can see this doesn't have the satin on it so I'm going to take this and I'm going to sew it on the this on this side so you should be looking at your back part that doesn't have the satin the part that has the satin should be on the inside when you're sewing your elastic together this is a really big poofy skirt now so guys you have to Pull on it, push it out the way, get the poop out the way. So you're just going to take this and do a straight stitch. Okay, and make sure you're not sewing any of the tool when you're sewing um, the elastic together. So I'm going to make my zigzag stitch. I'm going to go ahead and flip that back out. Then I'm going to take my inside layer. Hold on. Ugh, messing up here. Okay. So I'm going to take each layer and attach it to itself one by one. is done the skirt is done if you're adding a bow i'll show you how to do that i would suggest you sew it on not hot glue it because a lot of times the hot glue just doesn't stick so you want to just kind of even out your tool a little bit so the skirt is really full just kind of pull along there like this and get it all nice and evened out give it a little shake i like to give my skirts a little shake and there you have it. It is nice and cool and beautiful. This is your little satin trimmed tool skirt. If you're doing a bow, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do this. You're gonna take your satin, the same satin fabric or whatever trim you're using for your skirt. Make a little crease to make it even. If you don't how, know how to make bows and make the fishtails, um, basically what I did, and I do have a video that shows you how to make bows, but you just take the um, the satin at the end and you just cut it in a diagonal and then you'll get it like this and make sure you heat seal it. So I'm just going to take this down and I'll turn it this way so you guys can get a better view of it. I'm going to try to make this as even as possible when you're doing it. So I'm going to just give this a crisscross here. Just like the, uh, the Cancer Foundation symbol. Just like that. Try to make it as even as possible. Like I said, I, I eyeball everything so I don't know what the diameter is between the two. If you want me to do that for you, just let me know. And you're going to pull that up to that crease you made. And now you have it. So now what you're going to do is just take it, fold it in like that, fold that side just the same, and now you have your bow. I'm actually going to take my thread 
and I'll actually show you an easier way because sometimes that can get a little tricky to do. So you have your bow here, you have your little crease. You can take it and hold on to it right there. Take your needle and thread and just pop it on through like this. And just wrap it around. Okay guys, so now that you have the bow together, we're just going to place a little bit of hot glue right in the center. And I have a 5 8 inch piece of ivory ribbon, satin ribbon that I already had, so I didn't cut that from this ribbon. And then you're just going to take it around back. You may need to cut it slightly if you cut it too long, which I always do. I like to cut more than to cut less than not have enough. So you're just going to take that around and place the hot glue there. You can also sew this on if you don't want to hot glue it. You can sew it. And then you're going to just take the other piece around. You may want to straighten your ribbon how you want it to look before you put that last piece of ribbon around. And then go ahead if you need to cut it, which I do again. So I'm just going to place that glue. Okay. And gluing that in the center can make it a little tricky to sew, but I'm going to show you a little trick to do to get this bolt on without having to worry about going sewing through the hot glue so we're going to take our skirt and i'm going to put hers in the middle let's see i'll have to turn it my way for a minute <laughs> so what i'm going to do is take my needle and come through my elastic and i'm just going to grab the top of that center piece where the bow where the glue isn't and i'm going to take that and just sew that through be careful I do have it knotted but sometimes it comes out like this so I'm going to start at the top first and then I'm going to work my way to the bottom to get it really secured on here so this is our project for today it's our satin trim tool skirt and it's so full and it's so pretty and I love this color. I do have silver and black and white and pink and I also have peach. Um, so if you don't want to make this and you just want to purchase it, you can purchase this in my Etsy shop. It is available right now for purchase in uh, several sizes. Um, and even if you want one for yourself, you can custom uh, I can customize that to fit adults too. So this is our project for today.